All right. Good afternoon, everybody. It's your boy Akeem. Welcome to today's final scout report. Hit to give you a report on Rice defensive tackle Christian Covington. He's coming off a pretty good career as an owl decided to skip his senior season and enter the 2015 NFL draft. Now, he's actually Canadian, hailing from Vancouver, British Columbia, and he's actually the son of Grover Covington, a CFL Hall of Famer. And he, he's a, actually, Grover was actually a great player as a defensive alignment and he actually had a CFL record 157 um, sacks in his career that is a great number for you, for him and he actually and, and um, Christian actually has some good footsteps to follow now let's talk a little about bit about Christian coming from out of um, rice he had actually two good seasons as a redshirt freshman and sophomore as a redshirt freshman he had 43 tackles and five sacks and as a sophomore he had 59 tackles to go along with four sacks and in 2014 he had had a down year due to a dislocated knee in which he missed almost the entire year. He only had 20 tackles in two and a half sacks. Decided to forego his senior season and enter this year's draft. Now, this was an interesting decision, but I still think he's a good prospect entering this year's draft. Now it's time for me to talk about his strengths and weaknesses. First, his strengths. Duffy has pretty good power, 24 reps at 225 pounds, not bad. You wish it was just a little bit better, but he does have enough strength in that line of scrimmage. And I do like his pull and shed technique to get off blocks to penetrate that line of scrimmage as a good run stuffing defensive tackle. I think he could work well as a good rotational defensive tackle um, for a team in a National Football League. Because of the dislocated knee, I think he would be better as a rotational player. And that is a weakness about him coming off of a knee injury, even though he did not lose. Um, tore any ligaments he still dislocated that knee which is a concern and being in that line of scrimmage and bending his knee a lot that is a concern for me but it still has good technique and I do like um his, his, he had, does have enough power to do wreck havoc in that line of scrimmage. Now, going along with more weaknesses, sometimes upon the initial contact, he doesn't have control of his feet and his feet and keeping his feet underneath him. He needs to do a better job at that, dealing with these bigger, more stronger, and faster um, offensive linemen in the National Football League. That is a, a little bit of a concern for me. Now, a couple other things he needs to work on is working on combining his pass rushing skills and he um. In his technique, he only had 11 and a half sacks um, during his career, which is not bad for defensive tackle. But you just wish it was just a little bit more as a uh, as a pat. He was a better, a little bit better of a pass rusher. He just needs to sink in his moves a little bit and use more combinations to get to the quarterback at the next level. I think he could work well if you have a good off defensive line coach could, who could teach him. I think you'd become a good player and for any team in the National Football League. Now, where I actually project him entering this year's draft. I actually have him as a fifth rounder because of the knee injury, and that is it. If I, I, I think, um, actually, no, I take that back. He's a fourth rounder. I'm gonna give him a fourth round grade, but I think he could become a third or second rounder had his knee was better. I still think he's a good prospect, but because of the knee injury, that is a concern for me. And durability is a big thing, and the fact that he has to bend his knees a lot and be on his knees at defensive tackle, that is a, a concern for me. So I have to actually bump him back into the fourth round of this year's draft. Now that wraps things up for today. The next time I'm going to catch you guys will be on Thursday where I will give you some more last minute scout reports. Thank you for watching all of today's vlogs. I'm your man Akeem Call. Be easy.